with a cut of closure around 50 points as we speak. Well, uh, let's welcome on our show uh, Sudeep Bantupadai, who joins us. Uh, hi, Sudeep. Thanks so much for joining. And you know, Sudeep, uh, in the last one hour or so, NMDC has done pretty well. The stock has spiked to the high point of the day. We just had some news at the start of the show that they're getting some bit of relief from Karnataka. Earlier out there, they were paying close on 20% of sales as a duty. Now, they will have to pay 10%. And also in the past, when they pay 20%, they'll be getting some refund. What's your view on the stock? It's one of the biggest movers, uh, you know, in the last 30 minutes or so. Good afternoon, Nigel. I think uh, the refund they will get is quite substantial, about 1,200 crore uh, initial estimates suggest. And uh, that is going to be, uh, that's excellent news for NMDC. Uh, also, as far as the overall business uh, is concerned, uh, we are uh, uh, getting positive on the ferrous side of the uh, metal pack. And uh, NMDC definitely does look good. Uh, you know, the, 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 the restructuring which was supposed to happen has already happened. So it's a pure play uh, ferrous company. And uh, uh, with the global markets of ferrous picking up, there is probably an opportunity for a further price increase as far as uh, their product is concerned in India. So at current level of around 117, uh, 18, uh, I think uh, it's, it's, it's positive. Uh, investors can look at nibbling into this. All right. Uh, meanwhile, just keep an eye out on Mahindra Life Spaces. There was uh, some flash at the bottom of the screen uh, talking about the, the resignation of the MD and CEO. I remember Mr. Subramaniam joining us, uh, you know, just a few days ago, detailing the growth plans for the company, etc. So we need to get into details of what exactly transpired out there. Mahindra Life Spaces from the highs has seen a bit of a smith still sitting with a gain of about two and a half odd percent. So deep. Uh, your thoughts on Bharat Dynamics? We had the management uh, of the company joining us this morning, talking about growth plans uh, for uh, their, you know, specific products, Akasha missiles, etc. In particular, your thoughts on uh, the stock? It's uh, flying away as we speak. Well, absolutely. I think the entire defense pack has been uh, going great, and uh, they have rewarded the investors also handsomely over the last one, one and a half years. Uh, just one small point uh, is that, you know, the, considering the valuation at which, uh, let's say, Bharat Dynamics is currently available, I'm a bit cautious. I don't think I will advise uh, taking fresh position. Uh, but you know, if somebody has to look at, uh, you know, the, the, the entire uh, defense pack, I think uh, after correction, Bharat Electronics uh, does look good and uh, investor can look at that. Uh, the other stock in the defense uh, pack, which I like, is Mazagao Dock. I think, again, there has been uh, some correction there. Uh, Post-correction, it does look good. The entire submarine manufacturing has uh, you know, brought a completely different dimension to uh, this company. Also, uh, they are extremely cash-rich. So that uh, augurs well uh, going forward when the capex is will be required. Mm -hmm. Sadeep, hi, good afternoon. I just wanted to get your thoughts on this whole Z saga. I mean, uh, I remember a year, year and a half back, 350, 360, this was this gigantic media merger and, you know, stock was flying away. Even today, Mr. Puneet Goenka is reiterating that they're committed to the deal, they'll do whatever it takes. But the question is that, uh, you know, whether this now goes in the creditor's hands, then, then the game changes. Your thoughts on the stock? It's, it's only 200 now. Would you at all, uh, you know, play for a flip? Uh, well, um, uh, Subi, I think, uh, you know, uh, morning I was telling investors to uh, look at buying this stock because uh, 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 this this particular in the synth episode, uh, the way we look at it will get resolved and the merger will be on back on track. Yes, it's an irritant and it has to be resolved. They will do that. The correction which happened today morning and even now, uh, I think, uh, you know, for an investor who has six months plus, plus time horizon, it's a good opportunity to buy it. Uh, the way we read it, merger is going to happen. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, 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 the way and CLT has uh, passed this uh, order probably will be revoked by NCLT. Of course, in the realm of, uh, you know, the legal uh, uh, matters, how it is handled. Uh, but our belief is that for an aggressive investor, it's a good opportunity to buy into this stock, uh, taking opportunity of these sharp corrections. All right, Sudeep, uh, that's all the time we have today. Thanks so much for joining and discussing all the stocks uh, that we quizzed you about. Wishing you a good evening ahead. Well, uh, for the time being, we'll slip into a short break. But when you come back, we'll wind down the markets and we'll wind down this expiry as well. Stay with us.